Whoa. It's pretty incredible. So, we're up in here. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to JMAC Sports Cards. Today, I wanted to just kind of go over, I got a haul. I went to a sports card show in Raleigh, North Carolina today. Took my daughter, that was a lot of fun. Um, actually, it was pretty actually packed. I was, you know, with the uh, pandemic and everything, I think they have canceled this a couple of times. I had it canceled a couple of times um, over the last few months, but you know, I was still expecting it not to be like just jam packed because this one was had like uh, toys, other collectibles, non uh, sports cards, and things of that nature, and comics as well. But Lord have mercy, this really actually totally proved to me that sports cards are like flaming hot because I'd say 90% of the vendors and tables that were set up were all sports cards. Uh, I got a great haul here today. I did some some buying, um, some investing, some buying, some uh, flipping stuff that I want to do, and I'm actually gonna. There's, I, I found out this same group that does the this one here in Raleigh. It was kind of a long drive, two two and a half hours there, and I only stayed a couple hours, so it was about a five hour total drive. The same group does this, not uh, very far from my house. So I'm gonna start, and they do it like five times a year. Uh, about 30 minutes away from me so I'm gonna start setting up my own table and so I'm kind of prepping for that as well so stay tuned for that I'll probably begin to chronicle that which will be pretty awesome I'm gonna start selling at it um, so no further ado let's jump right into and uh, I'll go over and show you what all I got right off the jump you can see I got these these are actually my very first graded cards they're all Zions this guy had a big box full of cards they're all mint nines they're not uh gem mints but i mean yeah actually they look really good to me um i saw this one sold that's been selling for upwards of 50 60 70 recently on auction and guess what guys i got these three for 30 dollars are you kidding me so steal right there um and that's a random. Some of these you probably, you may not understand, but uh, this one was from a childhood. And I always it was a big. I'm from uh, North Carolina. Charlotte uh, came, you know, the Hornets came to North Carolina, and um, I don't have a lot of. I still don't have a lot of the good rookies that I had from way back then. It's probably only worth a dollar or two, but I picked it up anyway. This these were actually on, on like a, a twenty cent table or something like that. It was like six for a dollar. So like this one. This Jason Kidd rookie, who's I mean a Hall of Famer. This second year D Wade was twenty cent. This Tom Brady, I think I paid a dollar for it. I, after I got home with it, I noticed there's a pretty good ding on it, but it's a Topps Chrome 2011 Brady uh, All Pro card. I mean, look good, looks good. All right, and then to get into these, I got you can see all of these. Uh, Mellow Ball, Red, Cracked Ice, Mellow Ball, Red, White, and Blue, just a base, base, James Wiseman, check this out, I actually, I got two of these, Russell Wilson's for $5, I'm seeing these selling for upwards of $20 right now, and I got both of them for 5 apiece, so $10, sell one, and I'll have my money back with a profit. Michael Porter Jr., Jaden McDaniels, uh, Vernon Carey. A lot of these were like a dollar a piece. Which these are kind of waiting to see. I'm a big Duke fan as well, so I wanted to get a Vernon Carey. Cause I, and I hadn't broke any prison basketball, so getting into that. Uh, there's a James Wiseman cracked ice as well. Another Mellow Ball cracked ice. Two of those guys. I see some of these selling for 15 or so. There's a Mellow Ball, Cracked Ice, Global Prospects. 
So a bunch of LaMelo balls. You know, he's a Hornet. So if he does well, um, you know, I bought these. These are what these were, what the prices are on them. I'm around five to three, three to five a piece. I was okay with paying those prices right now. Once the season starts, some of these uh, will, will uh, the cream will rise to the top. We'll see who the top prospects are. I just had, you know, I just can't afford, honestly, some of these prison boxes. It makes no sense. Um, I bought some up top loaders that I needed, and actually finally got them. Never had any personally. I get them with some of the ones I bought, but some thick top loaders. Ones that you can put jersey cards in. These aren't the super thicks, but some thicks. And I got actually some more of these coming in the mail. So, but those are the single cards I bought. Not, uh, didn't spend a whole lot of money there, you know. Uh, I maybe spent $75 and kind of picked and choose what I wanted. And I'm very happy with those picks. All right. One other thing. These illusion boxes, I got two blasters and a bunch of hanger mega packs. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hold on, three, six, eight left. I, I, I opened up two. I got a good deal on the pack packs. Blasters were a little more expensive. I opened up two packs, though, and out of the two packs, I got, in one pack, I got an RJ Barrett. Look how good that looks. And the other pack, I got a Bow Bow, who is what I learned that he's going to be eligible to be a rookie this year. So he could very well win rookie of the year. His cards are going to be hot. So, uh, yeah, so I got those. I got those Illusion Basketball. I'm going to probably open, high, open three more packs, sell five. Open uh, one of the blasters and sell one of the blasters. I got two boxes. I haven't. I personally haven't broken any you know, football prism as well. Haven't been able to find any, obviously. So I got two boxes of prism. And then I struck a deal with a gent who had all of these absolute boxes. Um, he actually had six of them on his table, I, and um, I struck a deal with him. I said, "Take all six for X, X number." X amount, and he was him and haul out, and he's going, okay, sure, I'll take it. So, so we're gonna see. I might again sell three by, uh, and uh, break three of those, but um, that's my haul. I'm real happy with it. Like I said, I um, I'm excited about uh, myself setting up a table, and that's gonna be in January 9th. So. It's coming right around the corner, so um, I think it sounds like I'm getting a lot of stuff for Christmas. From my, my, actually, my daughter was she would tell me to go go away, Dad, and and uh, my wife sent her uh, slipped her money to buy me some stuff for. I think I got some extra boxes coming. From I'd walk around and be like, "Wow, that's nice. That'd be a good Christmas gift." Wink, wink to my daughter. So um, so we'll see. I think I'll probably get some of that through them. Uh, anyway, guys, I just wanted to, to show it to you. I'm probably, like I said, what I do break, I'll break on, on a video. So I think I'm going to do this, lose some of this illusions first. So stay stay tuned for that. And uh, do me a favor, uh, subscribe if you're enjoying the content. Like the video. It helps the YouTube algorithm. Also, turn on notifications, get notified as new videos come out. Till next time, doses.